If you're an average player, you want to be left alone, right? Because you want to be able to slide by. If you're a good player, you want to be coached. If you're a great player, you want the coach to tell you the truth every day. Did I hustle on that play? Did I make the right read? Did I play the guy with the right leverage? You want to know every play. Because you know why? They want to be perfect. Everybody here makes a choice to do one of those three things. Welcome to the GOAT Consulting Podcast, a podcast dedicated to people striving to be a GOAT, the greatest of all time, serving it up in a way that you can get it in all stages of life. Hey, I'm Colby Jubenville, and welcome to another episode of the GOAT Consulting Podcast right here in VCU Studios in Nashville, Tennessee. This is season two. Here we are. We're excited about that. At the table, as always, my good friend and the CEO of the Goat Family of Brands. We got Tyler Burnett. Tyler, we're wearing some new garb today. We're glad you're yep. here with us. I'm so happy to be here. He doesn't like multiple colored greens. And though. John, John uh, has a has yes. somewhat of a blase T-shirt. It doesn't really get me going today, but uh, it does have a great <laughs> coffee cup. Show them, show the crowd what the coffee coffee cup says there. It says it says. Well, I'm gonna bring it home in the coffee <laughs> mug, but you're gonna feel bad. This was the shirt Nashville. that came out a year ago ah. during the Nashville bombing. <laughs> and, I do feel bad. And this is since we're closing in on that anniversary. I thought I would rock it, and and now you've you've shamed me for it. Well, but, I didn't see this. Is it say strong on the other side? Your your feel strong. Yeah. Your pectoral muscles have gotten so big that it's I couldn't true. see the strong. It's true. You know, uh, but, but the coffee mug. It says yeah. it says hot, which I thought was appropriate. <laughs> pulling it out of the cabinet and bringing it on the yeah. way here this morning. And then as I was drinking it in the car, I noticed on the backside it says Rebel Mom well, with a heart. So I'm not sure which one's more appropriate for me today. I think both are appropriate. Uh, nothing, Not much has changed for us in terms of, of this. We serve it up in a way that you can get it. This is about the stages of life and stages of the career. 20s, you get in the game. 30s, you move up in the game. 40s, we try to stay in the game because those 30-year-olds are so damn good. And the 50s, mm. what the research says is we finally ask ourselves – what is it that I really want? And then it's all about the GOAT or the greatest of all time. In sports, it's easy to see. It's people that are known for their greatness. What they do creates energy. It gives other people energy, creates new levels of challenge and new levels of opportunity. All of that while elevating all those around them. And today, yes. we jump right into season two. Um, lots to catch up on. Lots yes, to we do. Lots to talk about. Yes, we do. Uh, I was I was spending some time over over the time away from season one to season two, and thinking about how could we step right back into this. and And I get Axios; they deliver a content media group delivers an email, and they break it up like this: one big thing, catch up quick, what to watch, why it matters, and what's next. You've been all about the frameworks. Since, frameworks since we've had a break. Structure, predictability, efficiency. But let's start with that. Let's start with that. What's what's one big thing with you, Tyler, that uh, is happening in in your world that uh, sets the stage for twenty twenty two? Well, in um, season two, as season demand two. continues to increase with Goat Turf, we've moved from two to three crews. Yeah, um, we've added a salesperson, a sales team. We got uh, an extra sales team now, so we've added seven hundred square feet of office space at the at the Goat Empire. Wow. And um, we've also done that. We've added a production office for Goat Imprints so we can bring all of our printing in-house now. Yeah. And we have a new machine called a direct-to-garment machine. There's not many of them in Middle Tennessee, but instead of having to make a screen, you can basically print right on the garment with one or two or three or 20 shirts or all whatever, about it. whatever the case may be. So there's been a lot of changes uh, at our facility, and um, – we are looking for a shirt sponsor, so if you know, well, if I know of anybody. <laughs> so yeah, we're uh, been growing in some new territories. Our our Memphis crew is really growing, and um, spent some time in Destin over the last couple of weeks trying to get uh, a team assembled down there. So yeah. a lot of uh, a lot of chaos, but a lot of controlled chaos, and so not one big thing, but. But 15 big things. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, what about you? What's uh, what's one big thing that's happening for you? Oh, gosh. Well, I mean, just a quick catch-up. Maybe I'm breaking up the framework here, but it's I okay. would say, gosh, four months. We're This is episode 45, by the way. We were 44 episodes in to season one, and uh, my life has been very full ever since. So... Uh, my wife just had knee surgery. Our idiot dog <laughs> linebackered her in the yard uh, four, two months ago and uh, severed the ACL, 
uh, tore her MCL and her meniscus. Oh and so gosh. she is uh, three weeks tomorrow out, out of knee surgery, recovering well. John David had his wisdom teeth out last week, which was the most vulnerable state I've seen him in since he was born. <laughs> and it was very special. It was yeah. a very special moment. We Tell really, you how much he loved you. We really connected well. Did, we, did we get any good videos? I got some great videos. Those will be posted on our website later on today. And we are pet I'll friendly. I'll tag him. I mean, we're a pet-friendly radio. Well, that is our former dog, by the way. He is no longer <laughs> living with us. Uh, UGA football, I'm rocking the hat. They are uh, with their first 12-0 and season uh, mm. ever. Time to, time to buy a bulldog. Ever, ever. So proud of them. We may talk about them more uh, as the, the weeks go on. Um, lots of good stuff going on. I would say my one big thing, which will likely help set the backdrop for me, in season two is what I've been learning about trust. And we had some episodes on trust coming into, uh, well, coming into season two, we had our Valentine's episode in season one. We did back in February. We talked about trust. We, we had Dr. Charlotte Farmer come on and talk about trust as a currency. But this thing about trust that I'm really learning about myself is that it's what I might have called in the past these small moments that aren't so small moments of trust that really lay the foundation of trust in itself. Mm -hmm. So the moment, and, and, and conversely, those can also be the moments of betrayal. Yeah. So I think about my wife who regardless any morning, doesn't matter what incident just happened with our oldest son. She will make sure she kisses him before he leaves every single day going to school building that trust. It's in those little moments that aren't so little that I'm learning, whether it's at home or at work or in my marriage or parenting or wherever it is, it's those little moments of trust that, that are the most meaningful. That's my big thing. That's what I've been learning. Well said. And, and now you are the resident historian of the goat consulting podcast. You just pulled back some of that history from season one so well and, and set the stage for season two. 44 episodes. I mean, can you believe we did that? No, I, I can't believe that. And, and I'm excited about season two. You know, yep. what, my one big thing, thank you for sharing that. And um, she, she kisses John David. Every single morning and before he, lets he leaves. Her. And he lets her. Does I she mean, kiss you? Uh, yeah, you know. <laughs> every day? Probably every day. We need to talk about this. <laughs> Probably every day. What? That's great. Every morning. You know, she needs to give you a kiss too. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. We'll talk to her. We'll talk about this. I think that happens. Well, we'll speak confident, I guess. (laughs) (laughs) Speaking of uh, a kiss every morning, uh, the one big thing for me is um, live events are back. Yes, they are in full force. Have you been to a concert recently? Um, How many concerts have you been to recently? Is probably the better question. (laughs) Yes, I went to a Pitbull concert. Oh wow. I did go to a pit bull here concert. In, here in Nashville. In Nashville. And I, and I knew I was old when I looked around and I was the only one that had earplugs in at the pit bull concert. <laughs> but, but I do love pit bull. That's you, not okay. You talk about a goat. Uh, he, Mr. Worldwide. Mr. Worldwide. Um, Mr. 305. He was absolutely amazing. Brought serious energy to the show. <laughs> and it probably, his concert would probably feel like what it feels like to get a kiss every morning from your spouse before you go to work. So, I bet it is. I mean, it, it was amazing. But for me to be specifically out in the one big thing, the live events that I was referring to besides NFL games, college mm. football games, concerts, is that um, conferences and speaking opportunities are back open. And so okay. I was able and fortunate enough to be invited to speak at Entrecon uh, in Pensacola, part of uh, Quint Studer and uh, the work that he does there in Pensacola. Now, is that related to Comic-Con? <laughs> no, no. No, but if you want to go, um, they have one in Birmingham every year, and I'll take you. Okay. All right. Um, but this is uh, Quint Studer's uh, co- um, <laughs> Quint Studer's. Um, Threw you off. Yeah, a conference on uh, it, it's community and it's bringing people together. And I, I got to speak on emotional intelligence down there in Pensacola. But the cool part for me, the one big thing, the what's happening now for me was I got to meet Bert Thornton. And Bert is the guy, if you go to Waffle House, he's the guy that founded and created Bert's Chili. I met him. And he's got a new book out. And I just want to read you a couple of the quotes that he has that he said in his presentation that I thought was so good. 
Listen to this. And this really made me think about what it would feel like to, to get a kiss every morning as you walk out the door. They asked him about success, and he said, you can succeed if you care, you try, you learn, and you stay. Talked about building a career and having success. And I thought that was such a great framework. It made me think about your business and the people that, that you go out and recruit to become part of the family at GoTurf. But think about this. You can succeed if you care, you try, you learn, and you stay. Mm. And that was part of a conversation that he had with some employees that were moving from assistant managers to managers and were trying to make sense of their own life and their own career and how they were moving up in Waffle House. I thought that was a powerful statement. You can succeed if you care, you try, you learn, and you stay. And you stay. Simple, powerful. So is he still with Waffle House? <clears throat> oh, he's uh, he's retired, former president and COO, uh, okay. and now he he goes around the country and has written a book and on mentorship and speaks to that. The other thing that he said that I thought was so powerful is this relates right back to to Goat Turf. People say the grass is greener on the other side. The truth is. They all have dirt on the bottom of the grass, and the key is to be close enough that you can see it. Even turf has dirt on the bottom of it. I mean, a couple of inches under it, yeah. I thought that was powerful. Mm. We always talk about Read that the, again. The grass is greener on the other side, but underneath it is the dirt, and the key is to be close enough so that you can see it. And mm. so what, what the biggest challenge they have, one of the biggest challenges they have in their business is getting people to understand the long-term opportunity to work at Waffle House. Mm. And I thought tied right back into our approach of serving up in a way that people can get it. So that's the one thing that happened for me. That's what I thought was happening for me right now. So I reached out to him, and we've been we've been together hanging out, talking on the phone, and, and um, um, I thought it was a pretty powerful idea that he shared. Serving Can we count on, on you to have him as a guest on uh, season two? Absolutely. I would, I would love to have him as a guest. You know, the other thing that he said that I thought was so powerful is uh, hash browns are so personal. Mm. Yeah, mm. they are. Hash browns. Did you tell him about Jack still in the syrup? <laughs> I don't think Jack – Jack is not <laughs> – Jack has not uh, copped to that. And, and now the syrup has gone missing, so I don't know we where it is. We got to get the syrup back. We got to get the syrup back. But I am, I am going to approach him and ask him, since we do serve it up in a way that people can get it, if, uh, if they would be interested in sponsoring season two. I am going to talk to him about that. That makes sense. And, and considering that he was a former COO, did you ask him, since Waffle House is open 24 hours a day, why do they have locks on the door? <laughs> I have always been curious no, about this. Could you no, please could no. you please ask him that? No, but he did he did say this at the end of his presentation and it's not about the locks on the door. He did say this and I thought that it was such a powerful statement. He said it's what you learn once you know it all that mm. counts. It's what you learn once you know it all that counts. And so I will talk to him about the locks. Thank you. But I love that idea of being a lifelong learner and that's part of what we're trying to do. Certainly, each one of us at the table uh, are part of that idea of, of learning at each stage of our career and each stage of our relationships and business and life. And uh, I thought that was a powerful statement. And it, I was telling somebody this morning, I, I had an early meeting before we got here, and, and uh, she actually brought up the fact that we've talked about Jerry Maguire so frequently. And don't forget, if you haven't watched, our, our first, I mean, so much for me, this whole podcast is built on that movie, Jerry Maguire, and specifically for me, that moment that he has at age 35 where he says, I'm going to stop being who everybody else tells me I should be, Yeah, and I'm going to be my true self. Yeah, I mean, that, that to me, along with what you just shared, really helps set the premise for this whole show and is the backdrop for me as we talk about this. And, and speaking of which, the other backdrop is we share goat every episode, so don't forget, we got to do that. Well, who's are you ready For to jump upper. in on that? I am. Okay. Well, you know what we wanted to talk about, and then within your framework from Axios that you shared, yeah, the last piece of that is what's next, right? What's next? Yeah. And as I thought about that framework and my goat for this episode, I'm actually surprised this hasn't been a goat up to this point. And this is one of those super <laughs> easy ones, right? I mean, our you know like the Bradys and Jordans of the world, but my goat is going to be Wayne Gretzky, one of the all-time. Great, probably the greatest hockey player of all time. 
And the, one of my favorite quotes in life in general, but specifically for what he shared, was I skate to where the puck is going and not where it's been. Mm. And I think this is an episode for us to reflect and look back and talk about the cool stuff that we've been able to be a part of and uh, over the last year. Celebrate that anniversary, but then also look forward to what's coming. And we've got some really cool stuff. I mean, we've got some cool guests lined up. We've got Bert. And he's gonna bring some chili. And we're gonna <laughs> as worlds. We're gonna figure Talk out this about whole, why they're personal. This whole quandary of Waffle House having locks <laughs> in the doors. We've got Sally McRae, who's run one of the toughest races on the planet. Who's gonna be a guest in the next uh, uh, month or so on one of the episodes? I mean, that's a cool, cool show. We've got we've got a guest dinner. Our our season one guests. We're bringing back together, and we're gonna have a dinner next week. How and, many podcasts do that? Gosh, I don't know. I don't have heard of that. I mean, that's that's a big deal. Um, Tyler, do you think it's a big deal? It's what a big deal. <laughs> Some I'm things never change. Some things never change. Season two, season two, <laughs> right here. Uh, we're having a dinner for all the all the guests from last season. I love food. season one. Yeah, I love. Food. And, and we it, could talk about Tyler's gonna. You know, be he's going to host a sprinter he, episode in is season that, yeah. two. We talked about that. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to do that. We did. That has happened over the last few months. We've traded in the 2013 for a 2020. And, folks, in the last 22 of our 44 episodes, we didn't have an episode that went this long before the sprinter came up uh, from Tyler. So <laughs> we've set a new record today. Lord have mercy. I, well, well, I'll I, never speak of it again. Y'all brought it up, <laughs> not me. <laughs> No, we're excited about the sprinter. All right, um, some more goats. Who you guys got? Well, mine, mine is Burt Thornton. I mean, Makes I, sense. when I when I met him and and we talked and and um, he knew he he called everybody up to sign in his book and and called them by name and those powerful little ideas um, that uh, that stood out to me that are simple yet mean so much. You can succeed if you try, you care, you learn, and you stay. I think uh, that that's something that every leader should understand. So mine's Bert, and and they had chili. They even had chili at the uh, book signing. Of course they did. I mean, it was amazing. He signed it. He signed so, with some chili. With chili. Was he? He started out as a cook. I mean, how did the chili thing come into play? Uh, I, you know, I, I, I never. I don't think I've ever had their chili. I didn't have enough time. I it's Bert's chili, and I didn't have enough time to ask him. But, That's why we need him on the show. But yeah, we'll definitely get that. I appreciate you throwing me under the bus right here in front of our global audience and asking that <laughs> I, question. That wasn't the intent. Who's your, who's your goat? <laughs> my goat is Amazon. Amazon. Oh, I yes. think I've heard of them. My goat is Amazon. Tell or us Bezos. why. Just the way they have scaled over the last 20 years to go from nothing to what they are now. And when people think shopping, they think Amazon. And Well, they think anything. I, everything. They think Amazon. And, uh, I, I They're love, coming out with a whole new healthcare company that's tr- you know resonating everybody in my business. Really? And they're creating their own healthcare space. So the way they've taken freight on... You know, and got everything to you so quickly. I just, I love their, uh, I love their innovativeness, and I love their ability to scale and what they've done. And uh, I'd like to do code. something very similar to that in, in my industry. Well, I think you already are. It's a, a work in progress. Innovation means you go first, and that's what we're doing here at the Goat Consulting Podcast. We've got uh, our first of many episodes. I mean, rarely in any podcast do you get to hear Gretzky, Burt Thornton, who founded Burt's Chili and is former COO and CEO and president of, of Waffle House and Amazon all in the same place. Um, we do serve it up in a way that you can get it, and it is. It, is, it, it did start with Jerry Maguire and that famous mission statement. It was not a memo. It was a... Mission statement. That's right. And the things we think and do not say, the future of so a, good. the future of our business. And this is the future of your business and your life. And we look forward to season two, spending it right time, right here with you, and right around this table uh, for Tyler Burnett and and uh, for John Byers. I'm Colby Jubinville, and this is the Go Consulting Podcast. Boom. Oh.